Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about My Adventure with Superman Season 1 Episode Number 9, Zero Day Part 2. And in this episode here, we get some answers. And also, it gives you some more questions. It expands the world a whole lot more. It changes the lore about Superman in a whole new way. Something I did not see coming. Because now you're trying, now you're thinking to, think to yourself, are the Kryptonians the bad guys? Oh my gosh. And, did this planet blow up? Are they dead? I don't know because it's it's it, it, it got general, the general has Superman captured, and he's pretty much torturing him, trying to get, trying to get him to confess what what his plan is, what he's trying to do. And Superman and Superman says, "I don't know what's why you're mad at me. I don't know what's going on. I came here as a baby, dude. I don't know why you're so mad. I didn't do anything. I was just trying. To, I just came here to help you. That's all. And you got and then you get, you get the backstory on um on a young general and also Waller." Training together at the camp with this big old ship thing that's there in the sky. Next thing you know, the sky opens up, a portal comes out, uh, uh, look like a Kryptonian leading a, a, a whole armada of ships coming out, coming out there. A lot of soldiers died that day. Like, oh my God, oh my God. And the Superman says, Those my people? Am I a monster? Oh my gosh. I didn't know. You see him crying. I don't know what happened. I thought they were good. I thought I was supposed to be good. And then you got General Landon says, oh, no. Oh, I think we, I don't think he's the bad guy. I don't think he's the bad guy. I think we're the bad guys. Oh. So now, he's not, now, and it seems like all this time, all he had to do was talk to Superman. I thought he did talk to him. He was so determined he was the bad guy. He was he knows he knew he knew without a doubt he was the, he, he was going to destroy the world. He knew with no question. I did, nobody questions things on the show. I, I understand it's, like, it's, a, it's a little flaw. Little flaws of the show there. I mean, I still love it. I mean, you, you got um you got um Ivo turns himself into a monster because he he believes so heartily Superman is, is the bad guy. He can, he cannot believe, he cannot fathom somebody helping somebody to, to, because it's the good thing, the right thing to do. He thinks it's kind of some kind of angle, some kind of a scam. He, he just he just can't be willing to help. So he would he turns himself into a monster, destroys destroys his own company, and then he blames it on Superman because it didn't turn out well for him. No one made you do none of that stuff. You got. And the only person who has some sense is General Lane. He was just, well, I mean, he, he finally gets it later on, but still. And you got Waller. He, she's, she's like, she's just who she is. And you're starting to see the characters start to become the characters who we know. Waller is becoming more evil every single time. The thing is, though, Waller has this tension. She wants to help. She wants to do the right thing. But she but she, but she she goes by this old enemy necessary situation. And says, okay, Superman may not, may, not be, may not be innocent. Who cares? He's still one of them. So he got to go to. I just, Wow. Okay. Now, imagine this. Superman has been helping you this whole entire time. And let's say you kill him. And, let, and let's say the, the Crotonians do come back. Maybe. I don't know. And they find out you killed their son? You couldn't stop him before. You think they're going to be happy? Let's, 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 let's imagine they actually were good. Maybe they would come, in, they'd come here to fight you. I don't know. I mean, they did kill a lot of you and destroy a lot of your stuff. So I guess that's all the question. Was, but so they were already ready to fight you then. Now they got a really motivation to, to kill you all off. You killed one of your own. They gonna let that go? Now look how mad you are because they killed some of you people. You killed one of theirs. Think they're gonna be like happy to see you? No, they're gonna wipe out the earth completely. Why start a fight? Oh. Y'all can barely handle Superman. That's with, that's with this technology. How, how do you think you're going to handle a whole army? Not well. Not well at all. So, again, they poke in the beer for no reason. I'll just, I'll just ask them questions. But I also like the fact that how the, how the city came to Superman's aid this time. And not only, the, 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 but you had Jimmy and Lois leading that charge, getting people to realize that Superman is your friend. He's been helping you this whole entire time. Because you, because you, you saw, you saw, you saw people cheering on Superman, happy that he's here, to turning against them because of the power that he, that, 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 um, that, that was helping them, that was like hurting him and causing them to cause them damage. Excuse me, made them, made them scared of him. It was the same power that he realized helped them realize that they were actually on his side. How things come around full circle, 
and all, and also watching watching the past, seeing what seeing what happened, watching Orleans' motivation, and also open some questions as well too. Like this, who was that one Kryptonian leading the charge? Was that Superman's dad, or was that Zod? Because usually Zod is the one who is the general who leads the armies and stuff like that as well too. But they changed things up so much. I mean, I mean, look look at um, Jor-El they showed in here. He looked like Odin. So I don't know what's going on now. Is he a warrior or is he a scientist? Is he both? I don't, I don't know. It, was that Zod? Also, I saw three dots in a, in a triangle pattern on the robots and stuff. Is that Brainiac technology? Are they combining? The Brainiacs and the Kryptonians together, that's like they did in the Superman cartoon. Is that a, is that a thing too? Does that mean Brainiacs gonna be showing up eventually? I, I don't know, because it's like this. Because now, because we didn't see the planet, well, we did. Well, well we did get a version of that when, when, the, when the, um, the hologram was showing Superman the planet. So all the Kryptonians, so all the Kryptonians did. I don't know. Like so many, so many questions now. So many questions. I, I got. I gotta explore this world. I just, oh my gosh, it opens up so many doors of possibilities to this. But I, but the thing is, I really did like how the show how the show ended, how things came down, how Superman saved the day, and how I got people to rally behind him and to believe and have hope. And he feel and if this Superman really did feel like he represents hope in this world, and I really do enjoy that so much. And how he defeated Ivo was so amazing. Like this, yes. It wasn't like for a lot of punching as well. He he saw the situation. He came up with a plan and he executed it perfectly without causing a lot of damage to, or killing anybody. Yes, the, yes, there was some stuff that happened to the city that was, but that wasn't on his part. That was because the bad guy was just out of his mind doing crazy stuff. And when he said to him, "Because I'm Superman," I'm like, "Oh yes, it made you." I, I, I even I even I cheer. I love the show. I love the animation. I love the animation style. I love how they're telling the story. I like, I like how they took a different spin on a, on a character who we already know and then added something to it that, 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 that I, I did not see coming and making it something diff, different and exciting because now you want to explore this world even more. It also had characters on the show like Clark and Lois and Jimmy. Characters who, who you already know who you who are different but actually still the same but also feel better than they were before. I, I just, Wow. I I, the thing is, though, it's been, a, it's been it seems like it's been a long time since we had Superman who actually was a, a good guy, who actually just wanted to help people for the right reasons, because it's the right thing to do. Superman actually just want to bring hope to the world instead of uh, instead of darkness. Not some gloomy, depressed Superman. Some somebody happy and cheery and actually would smile, willing to wish, take a, a, a save a cat out of a tree, not because he could. He doesn't care if he looks corny or silly or not. Because, it's, it's, it's because it makes that little girl happy. I feel like it's been a long time since we've seen this. And that's so sad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody wants to see Superman evil. Why? It's not his thing. Everybody wants to see Superman brooding and stuff. Why? Can't he be happy? Can't he just want to help people? He's the Boy Scout for a reason. Let him be the Boy Scout. And we're getting that here so much, and I believe you appreciate every single minute of it. Ah. And the love story between Clark and, and Lois is beautiful. It's nice and sweet. And you root for them. You want you want to see them to get together. Jimmy can be a little bit of silly, a little bit geeky at times, but at the, but at the same though, he's like he feels like, he like the really guy at the heart of the show. And you really like him like him as well, too. You like you really enjoy all the characters on the show. Even the ones you who like who, who are on the bad on the bad side, you know. You like me, I like him as a character, but you still enjoy them as as, a, as part of the show as well too. The show is amazing. I, I can't wait to see how this how this finale is going to go. Hopefully, finally we're going to have Lois finally see that's, that's, that's her dad. Hopefully, I got to see how that how that thing's going to go down. Uh, all the, other than that, great episode. Looking forward to see how this thing's going to end. I'm happy. Get, I'm happy they got picked up for for season number two. So I'm happy to, looking forward to seeing that. I also like how that, how this world is expanding. And I'm pretty sure that's Lex Luthor. I haven't confirmed it yet, but I'm pretty sure that's him. But we will see. But other, other than that, great episode. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of My Adventure of Superman. You can my channel like, hit the thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really do appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dreams of life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.